Hi everyone, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. In this video, I'm gonna be talking in depth about the brand new Lancome 10E Doll Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I have been putting this through its paces all week to be able to give you as detailed a review as physically possible. Will this be my new ride or die concealer? You will have to wait and see. Let's do a little bit of bump on this and we'll get started. So this is the brand new Lancome 10 Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. It's £25 to buy in the UK and you get 13 mils worth of product, which is pretty standard for a concealer. This comes in 20 shades, which are a wide spectrum, and it's supposed to give medium to full coverage. This is also supposed to be lightweight, breathable, non-drying and a hydrating formula. This doesn't contain any alcohol, any fragrance and any essential oils and it's supposed to be suitable for all skin types. The only thing I think I'd change about the packaging is the doe foot applicator, which is absolutely beautiful and holds the right amount of product, is actually quite difficult to remove from the container and sometimes I spit concealer all over myself on removal, which is quite irritating, but you know, I'm reaching. Really, there's nothing to complain about about the packaging here. It's really comfortable bottle to hold and it looks really nice. So like I said, I have been putting this through its paces all week. So in this video, we are gonna test out how this concealer blends into nothingness. So if you don't want to wear a heavy makeup throughout the day, if all you want to do is cover your under eye circles and go out the door, we're gonna see how this concealer fares just blending into natural skin. We're also going to see how this reacts with powder and also without powder. Is this going to crease? Is it going to last all day? I'm gonna be doing quite a considerable wear test on this and showing you the results at the end of this video. We're also gonna be seeing how this fares all over the skin. It does say on the bottle, all over. So we are gonna test that out today and see how it looks using this as a foundation as well as a concealer. And finally, we are gonna be comparing this with my current favorite, the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Concealer, which for me, cannot do any wrong. Let's get on with it. Okay, first things first, let's talk about shades. Now there is a different shade name and number in the US than you will get in the UK and the rest of Europe. It's super irritating when brands do this. Lancome isn't the only brand that does this. I'm not quite sure why they don't have the same name and number worldwide to make it easier for everybody. They have made it slightly easier. Both shades are written on the packaging and also on the bottle as well. So if you are a little bit confused about what your shade will be, you either need to go in store and have a little bit of a swatch test or contact Lancome customer services who I'm sure will be happy to point you in in the right direction. Now, I need to mention this because we spend absolutely ages finding the perfect foundation color match for our skin tone and we tend to overlook concealer. It is super important that you get the right shade in concealer. If you go for something too fair, you're gonna make your under eyes look a little ashy and a little gray. So it's super important. You don't want something too dark, you don't want something too fair, and you want something with the right undertone. I like to go for something slightly pinkier for my under eyes to help conceal my dark circles. That may not be the right thing for you, but it's definitely the right thing for me and it just makes things look a little bit more natural. I also like to match my natural skin tone. So whatever shade of foundation I'm wearing, I tend to go for the same shade in a concealer. I'm not really into that brightening the under eye sort of business unless it's right in the corner. So I've gone for something that's more my natural skin tone with this and I feel like as we get a little older, that is more flattering on me. So I did go for the wrong shade when I first bought this. Um, I went for the shade 006, which in the US is ivory warm. I've since been into store and picked up the 010, which is ivory cool in the US. And uh, yeah, it's perfection on my skin. Now, before we get some of this on the under eyes, let's talk consistency. This is a beautiful consistency. It's really loose, it's really liquidy, it's very lightweight. This is the same consistency as I would say you would get from a concealer with very, very limited coverage, and yet this packs a punch. When this dries down, 
it gives you the most beautiful satin sheen. It's not matte. If you want it matte, you are gonna have to place a powder over the top, but this blends out superbly. And the thing that I really like about this, and uh, the formula of this is just unbelievable. This is like having a little bit of spandex underneath the eye. This stretches, it moves with you. So you may not need to powder this in place. And I say may not, because that depends on where you're going to put it, the amount of creases that you have underneath your eye, and obviously how much you're going to build this up. So this is such a natural looking concealer. I feel like application is key. You can apply this however you want, with a brush, with a sponge, but I prefer to apply this for a natural look with my fingertips. So I like to apply a swipe where I need the most coverage and then take one of my fingers and place the concealer exactly where I need it. Once I've done that, I like to take a clean finger, so switch fingers and blend that out using a clean finger. If after that I need a little bit of extra coverage, I take the first finger that I use that's still got a little bit of the product left on it place it where I need the extra coverage and then take a clean finger and blend that out. And I just feel like this gives the most beautiful natural finish. It also adds coverage. As you can see, I only have one layer of concealer on here and it still gives me really good coverage. I would say medium coverage. You can still see a little bit of blueness poking through, but not too much that I'm gonna complain about it. So let's take a look at this side by side with my favorite Pat McGrath concealer, just so we can compare and contrast. So the Pat McGrath formula is a lot thicker and creamier, and I'll show you the comparison swatches on the screen now so you can see the difference. Now, because of this thicker, creamier formula and because of the matteness of the Pat McGrath concealer versus the satin finish of the Lancome concealer, I feel like it's got slightly more coverage and it's slightly more blurring. Having said that, the Lancome concealer is much more natural on bare skin. I wouldn't use the Pat McGrath concealer if all I'm doing is concealing my under eyes. I feel like the Pat McGrath concealer works very well if you've got a full makeup look, but not so well if you're just covering your under eye circles. So as you can see, after one coat, both sides look very, very similar. I prefer the natural look and the natural sheen of the Lancome concealer, but the Pat McGrath concealer also looks very nice as well. I really should buy this Pat McGrath concealer in a slightly pinkier shade because I feel like it would give me better coverage and cover those under eye circles a little bit better. Both sides have a little bit of a bluish tinge still poking through underneath that concealer. That could be corrected by using a color corrector or by adding a second layer of the concealer just where you need it. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. So after the second coat, you can see both sides have way more coverage. I still prefer the Lancome Soft Sheen versus the Pat McGrath Matteness. I feel like it just gives me a little bit of a better finish and it's a little bit more flattering on my under eyes. That's all personal preference. I feel with the Pat McGrath though, it does need setting in place. Where with the Lancome one, I can get away without setting this in place. So again, if you don't like setting your under eyes with a powder, you may wanna have a look at the Lancome concealer. I also feel like the Lancome concealer looks more natural than the Pat McGrath concealer. The Pat McGrath looks a little bit heavier and more like a concealer rather than skin. Next up, this does say it's an all over concealer. So let's test that out. Let's put this all over the skin using this more as a foundation rather than a concealer. So it's slightly more difficult to apply this way because the doe foot applicator only holds a specific amount of product, which is absolutely perfect for that under eye, not so perfect for all over the face, but it's still doable. And it means that you don't apply too much to the skin. This blends out like a dream. This is just like putting water on the skin. It sinks in superbly well. It just, it's flawless. It's absolutely flawless. My skin tone is even, and the sheen on the surface of my skin, that beautiful satin sheen just looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm super impressed how this applied. I will show you a little bit later on how this wore in an eight hour wear test. Definitely stay tuned for that. 
So let's do a full-blown wear test with and without powder. I am going to add a double layer of the concealer for extra coverage underneath the eye. The second layer I will only apply where I need it, not all the way under the under eye. I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath Blurring Under Eye Powder, which I feel is second to none for any under eye powder. It sets beautifully and it also does what it says. It blurs all the imperfections away and mattifies the under eye. So one of my eyes will look more matte than the other. You'll be able to see which one is which. So on the left hand side of my face, which you will be seeing on the right hand side of your screen, I am going to apply the Pat McGrath powder. On the right hand side of my face, which you will see on the left hand side of the screen, I'm not going to apply any powder whatsoever. We're going to go ahead and do a full day's wear test and I'm going to come back and show you the results. You can clearly see after eight hours of wear that both sides still look perfect. I actually prefer the side that has got powder underneath because I feel like the Pat McGrath Blurring Under Eye Powder, which again is second to no powder that I've ever tried for setting my under eyes, even though it's doesn't have any colour to that powder. I feel like it adds a little bit of coverage. It also adds that airbrushing effect, really smoothing underneath the eye. So I just feel like that looks a little bit better for my preference. The side that doesn't have any powder on, which is my right hand side, still looks perfect though. This hasn't creased, it hasn't cracked. It's moved with my natural facial movements and it still looks stunning. A little bit glowier than it did before, which as you can see on the powdered side, that doesn't really look glowier than it did before but I still like that natural look that the concealer gives. You can see from the rest of my face, super shiny from the concealer all over my skin, but I didn't powder this in place right at the very beginning. So if I'd powdered it or if I blotted it halfway through the day, I probably wouldn't have been as shiny as I am now, but I still really like it. I think you're onto a win-win here. I personally wouldn't want to use this as a foundation all over the skin every single day of the week because it would be a very expensive way of using this concealer but it definitely works. It's smoothing, it feels nice, very lightweight, very easy to blend, just perfection, absolute perfection. So in conclusion, this doesn't need setting if you don't want to set it in place. This has a spandex-like formula that stretches with the skin and moves with the under eye, which is just unbelievable. This wears incredibly well on both the face and the under eye. It's non-drying, it's got no alcohol, it's got no fragrance in there. It's comfortable on the skin, it's super lightweight, light water, and it's really cooling when it goes underneath the eye. It's suitable to wear on its own and with a full beat of makeup, making it a super versatile concealer. It looks natural, it's easy to blend. I would say this gives a medium coverage, low full coverage at best. And if it had the slightest bit more coverage, this would definitely be a 10 out of 10 for me. As it turns out, a nine out of 10, trumps my Pat McGrath. I will still use my Pat McGrath concealer in certain situations, but I mean, this has taken over for me. Seriously taken over. So this may not work the same on you as it does on me, but I am going to shout this from the rooftops. I love this concealer. This is my new ride or die. I just think it's superb and it's super flattering on my over 40 under eye. One major tip for you is get the right shade because it seriously does make a huge difference as I found out when I bought the wrong shade right at the very beginning of this trial. So uh, yeah, huge tip for you there. I really hope you found this video helpful. Do let me know what you've thought about it in the comments section. Have you tried this already? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do let everybody know in the comments section your thoughts and opinions and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.